is Minnie Wilson. I'm coming from Florida College in Columbia, South Carolina, where I'm a clinical instructor. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a strep test, okay? This is used to diagnose bacterial pharyngitis, and it's caused by group A streptococci, also known as strep throat, okay? So, symptoms of this, patient usually presents into the office with a fever, sore, scratchy throat, um, tenderness in the lymph nodes as well. You'll notice that I do have all my PPE today. The reason that I have it on is because strep is contagious. It is spread by um, airborne droplets. So that means that if you touch something that is contaminated and touch your mouth and your eyes or your nose, you can catch it that way as well as sharing personal objects. Um, a way to prevent this is to practice, of course, hand washing. Um, other than that, you could not share personal objects and also practice um, the practice safe um, respiratory hygiene, meaning that we want to make sure we're coughing into our sleeve or into a tissue, okay? So the way to do a strep test is we have to have, um, of course, our PPE. I'll go back to the PPE for just a second because I wanna mention that we do have to take a swab into the back of the patient's throat and touch the tonsils. Um, this could be very uncomfortable for a patient with a sensitive gag reflex. So we want to make sure that we um, protect our clothing as well as our face with a mask. Um, I'm also using my PPE to protect, protect any patients that I might come in contact with later on in the day. Okay, we don't want to spread this bacteria. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cover my mouth to make sure that um, I'm protecting myself as well as um, making sure that nothing gets onto my face or my eyes and also protecting my patient, okay? So what I need to do is have the patient tilt their head back. When they open their mouth and say, ah, oh, it's, it's gonna cause the tongue to drop down away from the tonsils where I can actually swab the back of the throat, both sides of the tonsils so that I can run the test for analysis, okay? So Miss Alexandria, can you give me your name and date of birth, please? Alexandria Wilson. Okay, my name is Minnie, and I'm going to do a quick strep test for you. If you happen to gag, just try your best to relax the back of your throat, and I'll get this over with as soon as possible, okay? All right, if you'll say, ah, oh, and stick out your tongue for me, uh, and I'll go over here to the right and twist, and then again, I'll go to the left uh, and twist, and we're all done. Perfect. All right, so now I'll take this to the lab, and we'll run it for analysis to let the patient know whether or not they are positive or negative for strep. Okay, so I have my sample here and I put it in a little collection tube that comes in our strep test, as you can see here. So what I need to do is add a reagent one and a reagent two that comes with the test. And we add four drops of each into our sample. So I'll do reagent one first. One, two, three, four drops. Then I'll do reagent two. Not to confuse the lids. One, two, three, four drops as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna stir this 10 times. Again, this is the sample that was taken from the patient's stroke, uh, throat. I'm just gonna kinda um, stir it around a little bit. And then I'm gonna let it sit for one minute. So I have my clock started, and I'm just gonna start it at one minute. After the one minute is up, then we're going to use our strep test dipsticks and we'll place it down into that sample um, and then we'll find out we'll be able to read here of a positive or a negative one line will be negative that'll be our control and two lines will be positive for strep okay so i'll see you back in one minute Okay, so our sample has sat for one minute. So what I'm gonna do is squeeze off excess from our, um, our, our sample that we used from the um, swab. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of press down. This is very flexible, this tube. So I'm gonna press down and kind of almost just milk off anything that's left on this swab and then I'll discard that, okay? So now here we have our sample with our reagent in it. 
And as I mentioned before, you have arrows pointing down that shows you the direction that you'll put your test strip into your sample. These arrows point down. So we're gonna sit this down into our sample that we took, and in five minutes, it will let us know. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll start. And in five minutes, our alarm will go off and it will let us know whether or not our patient is positive or negative. So we will be back in five minutes. Okay, so our timer has went off, five minutes has passed. So now I can take a look at our results and I'm just gonna pull this out and dab off any excess. And as you can see, we have a negative result. This first line is our control. The second line, if, if there was a second line, would be a positive result. So it's safe to go ahead and document that this patient has a negative strep result, okay? And we'll go ahead and just put this back into the sample for now. I like to hang on to my samples to give my physician a chance to come in and take a look at it. Okay, so we finished our strep test. We've documented the information in the patient's chart as well as hand hygiene afterwards and sanitizing and disinfecting the area that was used. Make sure you send the patient home with some written information about what was done in the office today. If you're a future student coming into Fortis, if you're a current student or even a graduate that needs just a little refresher on some skills that you learned in school, like and subscribe. You can also send us a message and ask us about some procedures that you might like for us to do for you. I'll see you in just a little bit with your analysis.